Let's go. Get up, get up, and then they got gold on. Gotta wake up, gotta wake up, bitch, get up. What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve, and you're watching ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. Videos about high-powered scooters. I'm out here on my Cabo Mantis King GT, working DoorDash. It's about 11 o'clock on a Monday. We're going high frequency, low volume. We're working seven days a week, but we're only working two or three hour shifts. If it's your first time checking out my channel, thank you very much. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, ask questions. Today I'm on the Cabo Mantis King GT. I really love this scooter. It just hit 500 miles. I'm doing really well with it. Use the link in the description. You get your $50 off. Use the bonus code. Gives me a little kickback and I really appreciate it. But I'm testing these scooters every single day I'm out here. We're in Hollywood, California working DoorDash. And it's been about 10 minutes since I turned the apps on and we still haven't gotten an order. But we're going to settle into Chick-fil-A and just hang out for a little bit. Just like yesterday, our first order is not great. Eight and a quarter for three miles. Chick-fil-A, we're here already, of course. How's it going, man? AJ. No drink, I'm lucky. Thanks, dude. I'll see you next time. We didn't even have to wait, team. This is phenomenal. All right, we're going far on Fairfax. 137, hand it to me. No problem. Let's go, baby. This looks like a pretty easy one. We're just going really deep on Fairfax, like 130-something Fairfax. It's actually the bank. We're actually going to Wells Fargo, no big deal. How's the second best driver doing out here? <laughs> you making money? Uh, yes, you know. The vehicle looks good, very clean. Yes, uh, every Sunday I, I do Polish. Very nice, very nice. I, I love it. Very nice, uh, it's very nice. Harvey would be proud. You know, Harvey, he keeps his clean too. Oh, yeah. uh, I gotta go far, this is a shitty order. Good luck today, man. Make some money. <laughs> We're all on the same fucking shitty team. <laughs> so, uh, all righty. I got to go to 130-something okay. Fairfax, luck, guys. Take, take it easy. Take it easy. Good to see you, Paul. Paul is a great guy. I mean, most of the drivers are nice. You can see I never even met that other guy. We still knuckled up. Only thing I'm nervous about today is I just put a brand new tire on the scooter. At 500 miles, my front tire needed a replacing. It's easy to do because it's a split rim tire. I have a lot of familiarity with those. Uh, I can do a splitter and tire with my eyes closed, so it wasn't that bad. Took some time, though, still took like an hour and a half, but now I'm always a little nervous. The first 20 miles on a new tire, the first shift, did I do everything right? I mean, that's the thing about doing your own tires. If something goes wrong after you install it, it's probably your own installation, your own bullshit. I got a good brand new tire. I checked the tube. The tube has no holes in it. I put it under water and everything, and the, the tire looked perfect, so... We're going all the way to Fairfax from here. I'm trying to keep the scooter in third mode. I lied, I put it in fifth gear. I wanted to do one high speed run, see what the GPS said with the new tire. We still have a long way to go. This is really far down Fairfax. And I'm keeping the scooter in fourth, not third. Third is only for like in between jobs, 25 miles an hour. But when I'm out here on these roads, I gotta be able to go at least uh, 30. Bank drop offs are really easy. Uh, it looks like the entrance to this place is right out front. Definitely take your helmet off, otherwise it looks like you're running into the bank to rob it. I always feel like electric scooter delivery driver is a good undercover for doing damage somewhere. AJA. Hi. I got a DoorDash for, is that a AJ? AJA? Okay, thank you, sir. All right, awesome. Well, we're really far away from home. Nice little 350 tip for an eight and a quarter order. Let's go. Now I'll drop the scooter down a third to save battery. Whoa, look at gas prices. 650 for regular. Six fucking 50 for regular, man. That is crazy high. Untold story of California, I guess. Not that they don't talk about it in the news enough. All right, we got an order coming in. 1075 for 4.1. I don't know if I want to do this one, but I think we're going to. Hot mess over here. It's not a good payout, but whatever, 1075, four miles from here is a long ass ride, but we're doing it. Get our acceptance rate cooking. The thing about these really like shitty paying orders for the time and distance is it gets made up for in Prop 22. Like I'm telling you, as long as I stay somewhat busy out here, as long as I stay on orders, I do seem to make 20 an hour for like my real time hours. So yeah, this is a shitty order, but I'll get paid in the end. Your destination is on the left. Uh, it's all the way up here, I guess. 
This fancy schmancy fucking part of town, I can tell. Hi guys, I got Patricia B. He was kind enough to bring it out to us, guys. Let's go. Yeah, this order is a fucking beast. Four miles. We're going to like the low, the high 3000s on Wilshire, which is super south and super east. It's going to take us a bit of time to get there, though, though. So we're going to get paid for sure. I will keep the scooter uh, at about 30 miles an hour. This part of Beverly is such just an amazing cruising road. You could really go as fast as you want in here. The roads are super smooth. It's a super long piece of land that's almost like two miles where there's hardly any potholes and shit. I don't want to jinx myself, but we're just uh, cruising here at uh, 30 miles an hour and not really rushing. I like the way the new tire feels. I only replaced the front tire because, you know, it was like an old, it was like a getting older, like hybrid off-road tire. I don't know if it's their off-road or a hybrid, but when those tires start to get low, the front end starts to get wobbly. But now that I have the, uh, here, I'll put it in fourth, we'll feel it. Now that I have the, uh, yeah, now that I have the scooter, now that I have the new tire on it, I'm feeling it at higher speeds. It's not wobbly at all. You know, I'm excited that it's holding. I'm, let me tell you, man, the tire was pretty cheap. When you do your own tire changes, maintenance don't cost you shit. We should not have taken this order, guys. It is way too far. Where are we? Does anybody recognize? I mean, we're getting close, I guess. We gotta go to Wilshire still. This is insane. I guess I figured out we're in Koreatown. We're making a right up there on Oxford. I mean, yeah, sometimes I get too greedy with these orders, you know? I mean, this order is just, I should have known since it was four miles from the starting point, and I was like right there. And then the order says you gotta take the elevator to the 10th floor and then walk to the 11th. It's actually, it actually sounds kind of familiar to me. Okay, yeah, there it is. I do remember this. I do remember this, and we're gonna bring this bank was under construction when we were here last time. I know we gotta go to the 10th floor, and we went in through here last time, right? Is this door fucking opened? Is it, what's going on here now? Are they working on it still? No, it's, they, it's a full bank now. All right, we gotta figure this. Totally remember this place now. They'll just watch the scooter for me. Hi, I've been here before. It's for 1111 Patricia B. 11? I, yeah, I know it's 10, then I walk to 11, right? Yes. You eyeball my scooter for me? I'd love to hear before. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so here we go to 10. Yeah, I do remember this because we take the elevator to 10, and then we got to walk up a set of stairs to 11 to drop this off to Patricia. God, this sandwich went four fucking miles. How much did this cost? Let me see here. 20 bucks. The DoorDash order was 20 bucks total. Well, I mean, I I guess that was easy enough. We did pick up a good order. We needed this too, because we we're so far out of the way. California Gimbap and Udon, I guess Japanese, nine and a quarter, 2.6 miles, but it's only like a little bit south and then the rest of it's full north where we need to go, because we are buried south down here, buried south down here. Luckily, this order actually turned out to be pretty quick. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time, guys. Whoa. All right, let's go, guys. Scooter looks great. I feel like we got very lucky getting this one. Just because when you're this far south, you can end up getting orders that are further south, which I can't take. So luckily we got this one. Yeah, this is a new part of town for everybody to enjoy. I don't like being this far away from home. Knock on wood, nothing will happen, right? But I want to have accidents within a like, walking distance of home. Not accidents, but flats and shit or potential breakdowns. And I am out here on this new, oh my god, nice move, Steve. I am out here on this new fucking tire. So I'm just a little nervous, but at least after we get this food, we just gotta go straight north. 
I hope there are some English signs in here because uh, everything is in Korean. It looks like, whoa. I wouldn't say that was almost an accident, but that was a close call. Let me get my bearings here. It's gonna be hard to figure out. Let me ask the guard what I should do. How you doing? Hey boss, I'm picking up a DoorDash order. Can I walk this around or should I? Okay. Here, here, here. Leave it here? Okay. Number 39, which way, which way? Oh, it's close? Okay, thank you, sir. Oh, beautiful, thank you. Oh my God, this shit's not even in English. Oh, 39, okay, perfect. Hi, Eel Sun for DoorDash. Is that it? Okay, oh, you're the best, thank you very much. This is a Koreatown, Koreatown, guys. I like it, look, this was easy too. Oh, very easy, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I thought I was gonna get lost in here, it's big. Alrighty, guys, let's get out of here. Thank you, thank you. This could have been a pain in the ass order, but luckily we got it. Nice, nice. Thank you. I don't really recognize the address that we're going to. So we're just gonna, I remember before I started doing this job like you, I watched a lot of videos about people doing it. I remember somebody saying like, oh, it's just like, it's a game. You're just playing a game with your navigator. Just do, oh shit, I went the wrong way. See, I went the navigator said go right, left, I went right, I fucked up the game. So it's just a GPS game. You're just playing a game. You're just following the directions of uh, where your GPS says to go. And that's kind of what it feels like. All right, we're gonna make this turn here. I don't want to wait here. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, little Hyundai. Hyundai's are good cars though. I own, I own a, uh, I owned a Kia. No, I didn't own a Hyundai. I owned a Kia Spectre for a while before I stopped driving cars. One and a half miles north on Wilton, which is good. I mean, that's the direction we need to go. Wilton is a little far uh, east for us though. Look at this new neighborhood. We're supposed to make a left here. Oh, perfect. We got UPS holding up traffic for us, not just... I was going to run the light. Hey, uh, we're dangerous. Right, I think we're going to have now, though. 5163. I mean, mathematically, it's always going to be the biggest building on the block, right? If you think about it statistically, probability-wise. Here we go. I know. Leave it my door, scumbag. <laughs> I don't know why every door today is taking forever to get into. All right, 407. The direction's really slate. Please leave at door and go. Like, what am I gonna do? Leave at the door and fucking hang out? Ooh, it's nice and clean in here. I go to like this aspect of this building. Oh man, it's getting fucking hot. All right, 407. This is like the cleanest building ever. Oh, which way though? I really don't want to lose the elevator here. All right, perfect. Took a little bit of sweating there, but we got it done. All right, we're doing pretty good. Let's just get out of here. Get back on the street. Thanks, buddy. Oh, it's fucking sunny out here, huh? It was bright, goddamn. All right, let's go, kids. This order is coming in live. Dollars, it's not good, three and a half or 7.75, but it literally brings us like a couple feet away from home. It'll be a good finisher. Let's go to Birria Birch. I'm not sure where the hell this place is. What's the address? 615? It's telling me that we passed it, sort of. Yeah, obviously if that's 700, so. 615, I guess, is down here somewhere. 641, 635. There, is there a 615? I guess it's a little little spot right here wedged in, huh? Birria Birch. This has got to be it. Wow, doesn't get any easier than that. Alright, that was fucking amazing. You just fucking scrolled your phone across the thing and it, well, I heard the thing open right behind me. Alright, let's go. Yeah, this is crazy. It's 3.7 miles, but... Much of that is the direction we needed to go anyhow. It's actually on Whitley. It's not as close to uh, my house as I thought. But it's still, you know, we're getting paid to go return from a spot we shouldn't even really be in. We're so far south. I believe we are right on top of it. The customer has been kind of blowing up my phone with uh, directions. I think they actually gave me three different codes. But hopefully we can just walk right in. We're looking for 1811. All right, 1811, boom.
Oh my god, that door's fucking heavy, bro. <laughs> All right. So we're looking for suite 1400. I don't know how that can be possible if this building is this open for me? Oh, it does have 14. It does have 14 floors. Jesus. I didn't think this building had 14 floors. It didn't look that big. 1400. Okay. I'll leave it at the door. No problem. 1400. I at least don't want to have to wait for this fucking elevator. So please door. Oh, no. What is this? Oh, I hate these fucking things. Yeah, this elevator is scary as fuck. Hour and a half, 15 miles. The scooter only really has like a good 20 high speed miles on it. We can probably get another order. I'm gonna leave the apps on, slowly go home, because we're not as close to home as I thought. If we get an order, we're gonna take it. If not, we're gonna call it a day. We already, we had $37, $36.75 in an hour and a half. So that's great. All right, scooter looks good, let's get out of here. I decided to come back to Chick-fil-A because I don't want to work an hour and 35 minute shift and I want to work at least a two hour shift. We definitely have at least one good delivery left in us for at least even a few miles. Hey, what's up, kid? What's up, boss? How you doing, ma'am? Making any money? Yep. So the truth. Uh, I'm going to do one more delivery. 0.2 miles for four bucks. 0.2 miles for four bucks. Go get it, killer. I'll take all the small ones. He's taking all the good orders. Stop taking all the good orders, Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul's busy. Paul's doing good. I got to tell him to stop hanging out at the window, though. <laughs> Never hang out at the window for your order. That's for suckers. Sit down and let him call it. Ooh, is this Evil Knievel's motorcycle right here? It's fucking cool. What's up, buddy? I saw you hanging out over at Hart's house. You didn't get an order for there, did you? I did, yeah. I'm going down. You got an order for Hart's house? A mile for eight bucks. Oh, my God. I can't wait to get my first Hart's out order. Hart's house. Anyhow, how's it going, Rudy? Very good. You making money? It's, today. it's hard to see you with this vest on, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you, I saw you, I was sitting there with Harvey and I saw your vest. I said, that's Rudy. Yeah, I thought you were hanging. Hey, it's Isaac, a double team. What's going on, buddy? Have you gotten any orders for Hart's house? Uh, yeah. Oh, I haven't gotten one yet. That's got to be just on Uber though, probably, right? Yeah, Uber. Yeah, yeah they're not even on DoorDash, probably. I think my order's got to be fucking ready at this point. Yeah, Rudy, it's good to see you. <laughs> All right, I got Paulina, just a chicken soup, right? Yeah. Thank you. Of course, thank you. All right, guys, we did get one more order here. here Chicken you. soup for four bucks for 0.2, and then we're done. Okay, guys, we know where this one is going. Oh, I like that setup. I had to bring it out, bro. That's a good one. I like it. Well, again, man, good luck. Make sure you check out my channel, Electric Scooter Academy. Yeah, bro, I'll look it up right now, bro. Bro, I appreciate it, man. Have a good, uh, good one. Your destination is on the right. Uh, we're here. All these buildings look the same, but I know I know the numbers pretty well. We got a code and we're going in for sure. The door is open. It's a funny door. Hi, guys. I can just leave this over here. Watch your back. Thank you. Chicken soup. Yeah, I'm going to 515. I can just go with the DoorDash. Yes, they did buzz me in, thank you. I guess you probably need that buzz for the elevator. Let's go. Going up. It's always easiest to see uh, my phone in these elevators. Hour 52, 16.21. And, and I think we're a little bit above, uh, right at 40 bucks. Under two hours, that's fine by me. We're gonna call it a shift after this, 5.15. Easy enough. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Fellow pioneers, that is it. We are done. 40 bucks in two hours. Can't complain. If you're looking at any e-move or Cabo product, don't forget to use my bonus code at Vora Motors. Link in description. I've got my bonus code built into most of those links. Don't forget, I'll be at Rider Fest. Hopefully, I put a couple of pop-ups throughout this video to remind you. I'll be at Rider Fest October 8th. I should have some free general admission tickets and discounts for racing fees, as well as discounts on merchandise. That should all be in my description. Alrighty guys, other than that, we are done. I promise in the future I will work some longer shifts for those of you guys interested. 
Right now I'm having fun working two hour shifts every single day while the weather is good. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave comments, ask questions, set your notification for the live stream. You never know when I'm gonna hit that. We're running this fucker. Jesus Christ, what a pain.